What's up? So Minneapolis has burned down the police station. What can I say? You don't tell the people what they should hear. This is what happens. Can't trust them racist cops? No way. Not a surprise. You know, the reality is this. <laughs> they don't care about black people. They never have. They never will. So now you got to kind of be with yourself. And I know it's in violation, and I don't condone no violence and no harm on peoples, but don't give it no re- don't give nobody a cause to have an effect. That's all I gotta say. Um, it was bound to happen. The heat is there; it's real. The tension is real. They're not respecting. I don't want to hear no tap dancing captain saying, "Oh well, you know all that." No. They admitted racism. They brought it on. They killed this man. Broad daylight. They lied on videos. They always do. They tell no truths. And it's bound to happen. It's bound to happen. The truth is, who is really the police? Because who is policing the police? You have to kind of answer that question. And why are they so hateful against black people? Why after 400 plus years... We still dealing with this. Why? And they don't read. I know that it doesn't take a lot for comprehension, but you have to ask yourself, why? Why? Why are we still dealing with the Jim Crowism and what's going on? Why? So I would tell eventually, I knew there gonna be a response by black folk out there. I knew it would be. It's been burning with madness. It ain't gone nowhere. It ain't gone nowhere. I have no problems with people protesting. I ain't with taking no stuff that don't belong. But at the police station and all that racism gots to go down, it gots to go. Because white law is what we've been living with. We haven't had any balance. We have no unity. This flag don't mean nothing. None of it mean nothing. And until I said before, black folks deserve reparations. They deserve an apology for slavery. They deserve an apology for to swear people on the oath with the badge who take it upon themselves to determine if you live or you die. How do you tell young black children that you have to not only respect the law, but you got to watch how you walk, how you drive, how you move in the wrong neighborhood? Anything can get you killed. By a racist institute system that has no respect for your being, even though you were born and bred American citizen. So the Minneapolis police station burning down, they almost had that coming to them because their karma and people got tired of this. And that part, that attorney, whatever she was doing, she could have saved that. If you don't come out and charge those four cops and don't have them locked up, firing them ain't nothing. They still out there having a nice meal. They don't care about no black folk. They said they obviously looked at George Floyd and said, oh, well, one less. And you know what they think about us. So remember that. All right, so my thoughts and takes about the Minneapolis police station being burned down. And like Ice Cube, Chuck D, the dad came back in the day, burn Hollywood, burn. We don't need, we need some real policies. Not some fake police with a fake badge who take it upon themselves to cancel people out because of their skin. Remember that. Hit that like and subscribe and the bell ring a new video. Give me your thoughts, your take. Wash your hands, keep your mind clean, watch out for another. And you know what? You reap what you sow. You better do right because eventually it's all got to go. I'm out.